don't want to forget what character I'm doing, but I'm just saying a lot of people out there can complain that they'll be the property of the government if they take this vaccine and they're saying, well, I don't want to take it. I'm with the property of the government. But I, I don't mind being the property of the government because at least somebody wants me, you know. Me dad, me mum, I was out I was out the door by the time I was three, you know. I, I never really ended up when nobody loved me in my life. But, you know, to know that at least somebody wants me, even if that is the government, you know, it's not bad. You know, this Christmas I've got nobody coming over, but I know, I know that I belong to somebody and that somebody is not even a somebody, it's a something, it's the government and they, they want me, you know. That's a nice Christmas message, I think. For somebody who, most people, my whole life, they call me just a cat. Nobody wanted to be my friend. They used to call me Dirty Nickers Harry. It never, they they used to say, look at him, he's a just shit. Uh, they couldn't want to take a time, come up with proper names for me, just shit. Shit, can't, fuck, shit, can't, fuck, all that. And so, you know, people like Matt Hancock, don't know, I've never met him, but he wants me. The, he, do, he doesn't want me to be left out. Yeah, think about it. Was a, there was, used to be a, uh, a, a golf club, where I, uh, just a golf club. No club where people would play golf. There was a golf club next to a Range Rover, and which was next to a golf club where people play golf. And I picked up the golf club, and the Range Rover was like, "Ah, you can't pick up that. Don't touch my club. Don't touch my club. And don't get near my Range Rover." And uh, and I said, and the first thing I thought when the government said they wanted to track and trace everybody was I thought, well, they just want to track and trace them because the government only loves them, the Range Rover people with the clubs. But when I found out that the government wants to track and trace me as well, the first time in my life, I felt like. I belong to something, you know. I belong to like this. I heard the term ant colony, and I like that. I like that. You know, I'm not afraid to get dirty. I'm not afraid to have my face removed and replaced with, you know, with the spherical ant head. I'm not afraid. If that's what it takes to, to, to just get your head down and just make little tunnels that don't lead to nothing so other people can observe, fine with me. You know, I've never really learned much. You know, I, I mean, I know this is a pillow. You know, that's it. You know, that and, and uh, you know, what, what two pounds will get you? I like, oh, no. And, and nobody, there was, you know, but before the government, I, I guess it's like, you know, be patient because good things come to those where I always wanted a girlfriend. I would give everything for a girlfriend. Never got one, never turned out that way. Never got no girlfriend. Never got a friend. Friend, girlfriend, nothing. Had nothing. My, nobody wanted to be near me. Nobody wanted to be near me. And I said, well, you, you know, you don't think it's going to... You, you think there'll be one person that will want you at some point in your life. But when you find out the whole government, and not just... And this is the best part. Not just the British government, which I thought was mine, but it's not. This other government wants me. All them people in that government, the Gateses and the Bills and the Melinzas and all them want me. And, and these are people who I'm not even worthy to lick their faces. And they want me. They don't even know my name. They, they just want me. I said, for what? Vaccinate you? Oh, why not? I belong. That means something to old Jack Harry Nicker Pants. That means something to me. You know, I was, I was uh, XX. I, was, I, used to, I used to be part of the X movement. We didn't, we didn't stand for anything, just an ex, and I was the only member. I was just occasionally walk around the house and I go, yeah, the hell with you all, fuck you, cut, 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 with an ex. And uh, never got any members, you know. That, it wouldn't work for me. Now I'm part of a much bigger movement. It's called a government-wide movement around the world. That means I've got some. There might be somebody like Mark Quivelly in France right now, like a France person nobody wanted. So, oh, and my parents didn't want me, and nobody cares, and they called me Pierre Pussy Boy. <laughs> I was nothing. But then my government wants me. They want to look at me and study me. I never knew I was so fascinating. I never knew I was so interesting. All I did was watch Netflix and play around on my phone and go to various websites. All of a sudden, I find that the government has a deep and abiding interest in me. What? What? Little old tiny what? The size of my own penis? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I am a lucky man. The government wants me just as much as it wants Tom Cruise. <laughs> what can go wrong? Well, that's probably enough. <laughs>